UFC 298, Volkanovski vs. Tapuria took place on February 17th in front of a sold-out Honda Center in Anaheim, California. The event brought in $7.26 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting rights. Not to mention pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, number 14, Anthony Hernandez, took on fellow middleweight Roman Kopilov. After a back-and-forth first round in which Kopilov defended all eight takedown attempts, Hernandez secured one in the second and sunk in a rear naked choke from the ground to take the submission victory. Kopilov brought in $86,000, while Hernandez took home a win bonus and a performance of the night bonus for a total of $188,000. In the second fight, former double champ Henry Cejudo and Marab Dwalishwili delivered hard shots and exciting grappling exchanges and each took one of the first two rounds of their Bantamweight title eliminator. In the second, the momentum shifted towards Dwalishwili, who took a moment towards the end of the round to chat with Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Marab continued his relentless pace in the third on his way to the unanimous decision victory. Cejudo earned $161,000 on the night while Dwalish Wheelie took home a win bonus and made a total of 221000 The third fight saw top 10 welterweights Ian Gary and Jeff Neal deliver a close back-and-forth striking battle throughout the first two rounds. Gary landed several hard kicks and knees up the middle, and while the pace slowed in the third, drawing boos from the crowd, it was enough for a split-decision victory for Ian Gary. Neal brought in a total of 119000 and still undefeated Ian Machado Gary earned $55,000 to show and $55,000 for the win, and a total of $116,000. In the co-main event, former middleweight champion Robert Whitaker looked quicker than his opponent Paula Costa until a head kick stunned Rob at the end of the first round. He recovered and continued attacking with combinations and low leg kicks in the final two rounds. It was a close fight, but Whitaker was the sharper striker and outlasted Costa with his cardio to take the unanimous decision victory. Costa earned $250,000 guaranteed, along with $6,000 in fight week incentive, for a total of $256,000. And the winner, Robert Whitaker, took home $300,000 guaranteed and another $100K for the win, $21,000 in fight week incentive, and a total of $421,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Ilya Tapuria stunned the world by knocking out the featherweight king, Alexander Volkanovsky, to take the undisputed belt. Volk applied a kick-heavy approach in the first round, taking it on all judges' scorecards, and looked sharp entering the second. Halfway through the round, however, Tapuria delivered a right hand that slumped Volk to the canvas, resulting in the knockout victory. Volkanovsky earned a whopping $750,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in fight week incentive, and as the champion, he received a cut of the pay-per-view revenue. At an estimated 500,000 buys, that comes out to another 500 k for by far the biggest paycheck of the night at $1,292,000. And the new UFC featherweight champion, Ilya the Matador Tapuria, took home $350,000 guaranteed, $32,000 in fight week incentive, a well-deserved $50,000 performance of the night bonus, for a total on the night of $432,000. California is one of the few states that discloses fighter pay information, so apart from the pay-per-view numbers, the totals I've shown in this video are the official payouts reported by the California State Athletic Commission. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.